we're going to take a look now at the concept of volume. The volume is really just how much space an object occupies. So I've got a little model here, this one here, and um, let's say that each of these little cubes are one centimeter by one centimeter. So each one of these little cubes here are one centimeter cubed. And I could figure out what the volume is by simply counting all these cubes. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six up here. Then in the second row here, there's another six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Each of these, each of these layers has six cubes in it. So six, 12, 18. I could say the volume of this cube is 24 centimeters cubed. Now, surface area, remember, we use square units. In volume, we use cube units because there is a length, there is a width, and there is a height. So volume is a length and a width and a, and a height. There's three dimensions. Volume is a three-dimensional figure. So one way to find volume would be to count up how many cubes, how many one-centimeter cubes make up this object. But that's not going to be always easy to do. So we're going to look at another way of doing this. <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of the base. Now, if we look at the base of this object, there's three centimeters here and there's two centimeters here. So the bottom of this thing is really a rectangle and it's three by two. So the area of the base would be length times width because it's a rectangle in this case which is 3 times 2, which is 6. So the area of the base is 6 centimeters squared. And now look at what happens when we look at the height of this thing. So the height is 1, 2, 3, 4. And look at what happens when we go area of the base times the height. So remember, area of the base was 6, and the height of this thing is 4, and 6 times 4 would be 24, which is the exact same number as we had there. So volume, how I can find the volume of this prism is I can simply find the area of the base, the area of the bottom of this thing, and find out how tall this is and multiply those those two together. Now, when we're talking about volume of objects here, we're talking about shapes that are prisms. And here's the important thing about prisms. Prisms have the exact same shape on the top as they do on the bottom. And so if you are working with the finding the volume of a prism, you can always find the volume by taking the area of the base and timesing it by the height. So this is going to be the formula that we're going to use for this entire, um, this entire concept. Volume equals area of the base times the height. So here I have, here I have a triangular prism. I know this is a prism because the shape on the top is exactly the same as the shape on the bottom. And it's called a triangular prism because it's, of course, a triangle on the bottom, triangle on the top. And so if I want to find the volume of this, let's, let's decide that on this shape, Let's say the area of the base, so the area of this triangle, let's say the area of the base is 20 centimeters squared. So let's just say that's what we know. We know the area of this, this base, or I guess we could say this, this is the base. The area of that base is 20 centimeters squared. And let's say the height of this, the height of this prism is 5 centimeters tall. So the height is 5. So if I know the area of this base, I know the area of the base is 20, and I know the height is 5, 
then volume is always the area of the base multiplied by the height, call that h. So the area of the base is the area of the base is 20 and the height is 5. So 20 times 5 is 100 centimeters cubed. So the volume of this object would be 100 centimeters cubed because I know the area of the base. And when you're thinking about volume, if we know what the area of this is, the reason why the volume of prisms are area of the base times the height is because the base of this object is exactly the same as the height. So all we're doing is we're finding the area of this and it's like we're taking that bottom shape and we're stretching it all the way up here. And so volume would be the area of the base multiplied by the height, how tall this object got stretched. And so then we would know how much volume, how much space it's occupying. So 100 centimeters cubed. Here now I have a cylinder. Well, a cylinder is really a prism because it's the same shape on the bottom as it is on the top. And so if I want to find the volume of this prism, I take the area of the bottom and I times it by how high it's been stretched up. So area of the base, let's just say for, the, for this question, let's make the area of the base 10 centimeters squared. And we'll say that the height is 12 centimeters. So volume equals area of the base multiplied by the height. The area of the base we were told is 10. The height of this is 12. 10 times 12 would be 120 centimeters cubed. Don't forget volume is centimeters cubed. And again, it doesn't matter how far, it doesn't matter how the orientation of the object, it doesn't matter if it's straight up and down, it doesn't matter if it's sideways like this, it doesn't matter if it's on an angle, the volume is the same, it's still occupying the same amount of space. So the orientation doesn't matter. Um, so usually if it's given to me like this, I'll think of it like this, so I know that here's the top, here's the bottom. Well, let's say we've got a prism like this one. So this is a bit of a bit of a weird one. We have a hexagonal top and a hexagonal bottom, but we know it's a prism because the shape on the bottom is exactly the same as the shape on the top. So someone's taken this shape here and stretched it all the way up here. So if we said the area of the base of this object, that would be the area of this part right here, if we know that that's 8 and we know that the height of this is 5, then volume would equal the area of the base multiplied by the height. The area of the base is 8 and the height is 5. 8 times 5 is 40 and volume are, whoop, I think I said meters, now I write centimeters. So 8 meters squared, height 5 meters, so our final answer is going to be 40 meters cubed. So a prism is an object that has the exact same shape on the bottom as it has on the top. You can find the volume of a prism, first of all, by finding the area of the base, whatever that prism is. It could be a triangle, it could be a circle, it could be a rectangle, but find the area of the base and multiply that by the height. So that's what we need to remember when we're finding volume of prisms. Area of the base times the height.